Today, let's see how we can serialize a list or any other type of collection. For this, first of all, our employee class is same as always. So it is going to implement the serializable interface. Then it is having ID, name and password. Password we don't want to save. Hence, I'm making it as transient. Rest everything is same here. Then in the demo class, what I'm doing is I'm creating a list of employee and I'm providing two employees here. Then I'm invoking the write method. I'm providing the list object as it is. And very simply, I'm providing the same list object to the write object method also. So it will get serialized and it will be written to the file. Then we are invoking the read method. Now within the read method, again, I'm making usage of read object only and I'm directly converting it to the list of employee. And that's it. Nothing else needs to be done. So we can simply execute the code and you can see it is going to work fine. Both of your objects will get saved to the file and later on they will get deserialized also. The main purpose of making this short is just to tell you that you can easily serialize and deserialize any type of collection. The only main thing is that whatever the kind of main object, let's say employee or whatever person or any class you want to serialize, that should be implementing the serializable interface. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.